Hey, what's up, guys? Indian Sense here. Welcome back to another episode of Ninja Voltage. So, official version of Great Guild War is here, and some things are same, some things have changed. So, yeah, I have decided to make a video, short video. To explain what's what and you can just watch the full video to get overall idea of how things are gonna happen now in the great guild war so yeah so starting with the enhancement uh, sorry starting with the attacking period so magic flutes of attack and magic flutes of defense can now be used at the same time in addition you can use the same kind of magic flute multiple times so what used to happen in the beta version of guild war was uh, you can either use the attack magic flute or you can use the defense you will have to decide you would have to decide like which one to use but now you can use both of them simultaneously and you can use same uh, flutes multiple times so what i think they are trying to say is previously you what used to happen in the beta version was uh, you when you put one magic flute then you will have to wait for like 30 minutes to put one more so now i guess you can put like 30 of them uh, together and they will keep getting consumed as soon as the time changes so yeah I think that's what they are trying to say. Team battles have been removed sadly. Uh, you can now only participate in solo battles. So basically uh, now instead of using four of the guild members attacking one fortress, you will have to only do solo. Yeah, Solo means with your own main shinobi and three of your support units. Same as attack mission. You can now only attack enemy guild fortress a certain number of times. So this is quite a big change. I mean previously what used to happen that you only need to add one BP and if you have one attacking BP with you, the green stars, if you don't know, uh, that's called battle point. So battle point, yeah, so BP. So uh, if you had one BP, then you can attack like thousands of times uh, in Guild Wars. You don't have to worry about the any uh, the BP getting over or something like that. You just have to have one BP and you can attack like multiple times, thousands, hundreds, two hundreds of times. But now there's certain limitation on how much a single member of a guild can attack uh, any fortress. So yeah, mm, if the assault is successful, you will receive war points and at the end of the event ranking will be determined based on how many war points each guild has earned. The guild fortress that are used, yeah, 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 okay, 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 okay. So yeah, this is the limit thing. So if your guild has like one to 10 members, then each member can only attack like three times in, during the attack period. And uh, if you have 11 to 20 members in your guild, then each member can attack four times. And if you have 21 to 30 members, then each member can attack five times. So for example, in my guild, I have 30 out of 30. So total 30 into five, 150 attacks from the whole guild. So yeah, during one single attack period. Okay. So now auto clickers and stuff is not going to happen. <laughs> and I think uh, getting into top 100 would be pretty competitive because everyone can do five attacks yeah so yeah who knows what's let's see what happens magic flutes are special items that can only be used during attack periods when use effects will benefit fellow guild members they will not be carried okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay uh special shinobi yeah there are also special shinobis which are decided every attacking period uh, or so or enhancement period you can use them for you know, extra effect on your fortress defense yeah mm, yeah so let's jump to the enhancement notice okay oh uh, yeah yeah same okay so so the one major change in great guild wars is that what used to happen was previously uh, rather than being chosen from the members with the most contribution points the shinobi of any guild member can now be selected so what used to happen was uh, based on the contribution points of your members so for example, uh, top four contribution points member will be placed in final room and other four will be placed in the fortress defense. No order, the order will be decided solely based on the contribution points. No one can change that. But now the guild leader, that's me for my guild, can change which shinobi to put in the final room and in the defense. Even I can maintain the order, uh, I mean on the bottom, who to put in the bottom, who to put in the left, on the right and the final room, yeah, I can choose that. So now what you, what the good thing about this is that everyone can grind uh, enhancement day and enhance as much as possible 
you don't have to worry about getting to the top ranks and having no good shinobi that shinobi selection will be decided by the guild leader you just have to enhance as much as you can just keep playing missions and collecting the tactician scrolls and enhance the all the installations yeah that's it, and that's the like uh, you don't have to worry about anything out uh, just keep enhancing yeah so guild fortress terrain and strength and installation will be reset after each attack period remember to pay attention to when the attack periods in fortress okay so uh, what used to happen before that once the fortress has been set up to max it it was same for the whole guild war period now this will change every attack period so for example if you max out the fortress in the five enhancement day periods then in the two days it will remain the same as soon as the attack period ends your fortress will go back to this uh, your zero state and you will have to enhance again so this way everyone have to play every single enhancement day every single enhancement day you will have to grind the missions to connect tactician scores and enhance the fortress previously we just grinded one or two days and when we enhance the fortress completely then we used to uh, on the enhancement days we used to do don't do anything yeah but now you will have to play on every enhancement day because the fortress will become to zero uh, so yeah ninja v missions round up mission special mission attack mission these will give you uh, the fortress investigation will advance by one space for each mission cleared it will not advance if you lose leave or use insta chief so yeah keep that in mind don't insta chief you will have to play manually you can my, uh, my advice would be if you are completed with the round up missions then just play the ninja v mission first stage over and over again because you can just click on the auto button and it's it's like the easiest mission in this game and you don't have to worry about anything even uh, the players who don't have a high ranking shinobi can easily grind ninja v mission stage one yeah so don't have to worry about anything yeah now coming on to the main notice so the event period has been extended for the great guild war uh, the number of days the fortress enhancement period and attack period have been changed for more details check out the event period below okay contribution points achievement rewards have been added which are based on the amount of contribution points you get so there is certain ranking for the contribution points you did for the guild so that has been added i will show you now uh, give me two minutes first let's complete the notice uh yeah yeah blah 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 so the guild wars event period starts from today that is 3rd of august till 30th of august so basically 27 days that's a lot so fortress enhancement period is for like three to eight so five days and two days attack period again fortress enhancement for attack fortress and attack and fortress and so four times fortress enhancement period and four times attack period but the last day attack period will be shorter as usual so yeah and i don't know if the sam will arrive on 30th after 30th or between the guild wars i don't know Please note that while an attack period is underway, players cannot be removed from, leave or change jobs in a guild. So while the attack period is going on, you cannot do this stuff in the guild, but you can do that during the enhancement period. So yeah. Results announcement period is on 31st of August till 7th of September. Okay. Rankings are decided by the total amount of war points acquired once the event has ended. Get guild room resigns, wind up mascots, guild room attire based on your ranking. Okay, okay, okay. In addition to the above, you can also get various items as Shinobite and Alliance medals. Combine your strength with fellow guild members and aim for top rankings. You can get Shinobite and summoning ticket depending on the number of contribution points you gather. Check out the contribution points achievement rewards to see what rewards you can get. Okay, we will check it. And the guild medal shop is closing. The 31st is the last date. So if you haven't used a guild medal shop, just purchase whatever you want to from there. So yeah. Uh, yeah. So let's just quickly have a look what has been changed inside the guild wars fortress and stuff so this is the guild war fortress initial fortress and this is what i was talking about shinobi selection so i can decide who to keep in the final room i can just choose who to keep in the final room just press ok and i can change who to keep keep in the defense room there's no need uh, to decide based on contribution points just have a communication with your guild mates and ask them what shinobi do you have and how much power the shinobi has and you know and then decide and put the shinobis accordingly in the fortress so this is a really good thing in guild wars so yeah 
so installation and stuff are still the same you just uh, when you reach a certain level you will be able to purchase the terrain sets and yeah so installation enhancement fortress appearance still the same and yeah so this was for the fortress stuff little changes and now coming on to the reward section so the reward list now there are two types of rewards first is ranking rewards previously we used to get like 250 shinobites and a lot of stuff from uh, guild war rank so if your guild is in 1 to 100 rank then you used to get 250 shinobites and other stuff now you get all you get is this uh, decoration for your guild room and this avatar the new hokage naruto avatar from the movie and uh, naruto movie and some summoning tickets and 20,000 alliance medals but you get something from the contribution points as well so i think probably i think that uh if you if a person for example if a person completes 100k contribution points for the guild war then uh he will have like 60 shinobites total from here some amount of summoning tickets a lot of alliance medal and frogs and stuff and since they said that every attack period the fortress will reset to default so i think this will also get reset if that's the case, if this also gets resets like uh, Fortress Enhancement Day are for four times, so four times this contribution points will be will give us like 240 Shinobites and good amount of summoning tickets and good amount of frogs and good amount of alliance medals if they reset every attacking period. And I'm not sure uh, as of now whether they will get reset every attack period. The Fortress will get reset, but I'm not sure about this. Uh, whether or not this ranking this contribution point achievement reward will get reset every attack period so if it does get reset then it's a good thing it's a really good thing 240 shinobites to everyone you don't have to be in the top ranking anymore you just have to contribute as much as you can but if it doesn't then this guild wars totally is really bad from the previous beta versions so yeah so yeah i guess uh there's nothing more to cover yeah i guess so yeah, Sasuke, all the Sasuke's are special shinobi as of now. So, okay, cool. So, yeah, guys, that was it. I hope I covered everything. And if you have any doubts or if you want to know something about the Guild Wars, I already made some videos, uh, two or three videos on the Guild Wars. You can just watch that and have a quick idea how this works, everything works. And if you want some new information and if you don't understand anything in the Guild Wars as of now, from this video, you can just comment and I will try to answer all the questions. So yeah, that was it and and I will do uh, attack mission summoning video as usual and waiting for the shaft. <laughs> so yeah, wait for it. So yeah, if you're new to the channel, do subscribe, hit that like button and comment. I'll see you next time. Sayonara.